guys, in the first part of this series, I showed you how I repainted my office. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I decorated it. And so here is the current before. The first thing I'm doing is with my window and I'm just going to be hanging some string lights on the sides. So I did change this setup later on, but for now I just put my Polaroids on the string lights with some black clips. Here I'm just setting up my desk so it's my sewing supplies and other decorations and my clothing rack is in the back. And for my letter board, I'm just going to be writing out JD Panda. Now I'm just unboxing some of the things I got from my online order. So I got two black wall grids, which I'll put my Polaroids on that. And then I got some sewing clips that I'm just organizing and putting into my panda mug. And I also got this wall clock which I'll be using to help display my studio art concentration. And if you wanted to know, this is battery operated. And here my dad and I are setting up the clock. First, we laid out the paintings on the ground to get a general gist of what the paintings would look like on the wall. And then we had to find the diameter because we needed to know how tall we wanted the clock to go and how low we wanted it to be. And so we first put up the wall clock, and then the 12, 3, 6, and 9. Then we just continued on with the other paintings, and just a reminder, don't forget to use a leveler because it's important to get your paintings straight. And then personally for me, I didn't keep any negative space between my paintings, and I actually found this helpful because the paintings could lean on each other and not be like shaking back and forth if they were to have some space in between. And to hang up all my paintings, I'm using thumbtacks. And here's the final look of the office, and I will be going into more detail right after this clip. So first, on my door, I have my graduation cap and gown from high school, and I just think it's a nice way to display this, and it also goes with the room. And on the other side, I have my clothing rack of clothes I've made and clothes that I've bought as well. And then on the edge, I just have a fashion calendar, which is very appropriate for this office. Further on, I just have my desk, and so first I have my wheelie chair, which is helpful in moving back and forth when I'm at my desk. And then on my desk, I have my sketchbook, and then a basket of the sewing supplies I use most often. And then I have my cutting mat and ruler, and then my sewing machine. And then to the right of my sewing machine, I have a power strip with different cords, and then a JD Panda clay plate that I made. Heading below my desk, I have three clear plastic drawers, and they have supplies that aren't as essential as the ones above, but they still need to be in a reachable distance. Behind my sewing machine, I have my panda mug that's filled with sewing clips as well as my seam ripper. Then I have white thread, and then a mason jar of fake flowers, and then a jar for my bobbins. Then facing the other way, I have my panda lamp, which actually doesn't work anymore, 
but then I have some mini clay figurines that I made. So I have a koala, a little koala teacup, and a panda. And then over here I have my speaker system, which is actually part of a karaoke machine, but I just use it for music. And then I have my newly bought pattern, and then some shoe boxes for storage. Then I have this bag of fabric, and then at the top I just have some clothing items I need to revamp. And on this wall I have my studio art concentration, which I actually like to call the clock of clocks. And in this corner I have my dress form. And behind my dress form, I place my roll of brown craft paper. And on the wall, I put up my Polaroids in a panda shape. And at the top, I just have my three special guitar picks. And as you saw from before, I have my string lights around my window. And then at the top, I have my high school and middle school flag pennants. Then, on the right side of my window, I have my two wall grids of Polaroids, and then my letterboard. 